so frustrated. I actually videotaped my conversation with the post office, and it's lost. Ever since baby took off with this memory card, it hasn't been working right. People, I don't even know what to say. But that, I called, I don't know, I couldn't even find the number for our regular post office in the um, phone book. All I could find was like a main government number. Fine. I called them. Crazy touch tone, same jig, you know. And I said, you know, when I had the opportunity to speak something into that stupid thing, I said, like, tam you know, package had been tampered with. So I get Mary. And I tell her that I had mailed a package and that it had been opened and um, tampered with before it had been received by the recipient. And she said, how did I mail it? And I said, first class mail. And she said, well, first class mail can be opened. What? What the heck does that mean? It can be opened. She's like, you know, it happens all the time. You should send send it for you should send it priority. You have a better chance of it not happening. What do you mean? I don't even get that. Oh, I'm sorry, it can be opened. So I'm like, alright, but I've had things damaged, you know, that have come open and they come sealed with some kind of a like official notice that they have, you know, been damaged. And that that was not included. That there was no note of damage or inspection or anything like that. And that it had been closed up with plastic cording. Now, she had never heard of plastic cording being used before. And she said the only thing to be done about this, if we thought that there really was something abnormal, and I didn't tell her what was in there, but I said I'm like something else was placed in the box. And she's like, well, that can happen because the machines can open up. Um, things can be opened up on the machine, and then they don't know what goes in what box, and all sorts of weird things can get mixed up. And I told her, well, this was something very weird. She didn't ask. I was hoping she was going to ask me what it was, but she didn't. She wasn't really amused by this conversation, and that's not that I was being funny or being amused, because I wasn't amused either. I can't believe that this is just like, that there's no way to report it. Come on! I can't believe that. Not only was it obviously, to me, come on. But fine, packages open up. Are you trying to tell me some weird, bizarre sex toy package was next to it, and you couldn't tell what box it went in, and this is the box with a weird... I mean, there was also a strange baggie in there. What is up? I cannot believe I have no recourse for this. Well, I don't want to go to my post office today because it's the 15th, so there's no way I'm going to be able to speak with anybody. So I will go tomorrow um, and see if I can, like, actually speak to somebody because I just find this hard to believe. I did have the package tracked, so there is a number on it. And, yeah. N not helpful. Not helpful. Seriously, with everyone's crazy terrorism fears, I find it very hard to believe that there isn't a way to report this. Come on. Crazy. So that was highly disappointing. And um, that's where we stand right now. I can't believe that the camera didn't capture that video. Damn it. That was a good one. It was kind of... You, it would have been funny to watch my face, I feel like, during that conversation. All right. English muffin, giant piece of chicken. The flesh. <laughs>